Now, we'll continue with the tagging process by selecting the References and Appendices tab. Here we'll find a new assistant that it will help us to infer the references that we need. We can either accept it or cancel the help. When we click Accept, we, we have the, the, the full reference in, our, in the window and we have to choose the source and type of publication. The Markalik system automatically finds the source and type of publication, so we don't need to mark it, tag it, but if it's the case, we can always correct it. Now, we can click on the next reference, and we need to do basically the same. Now, in the type of publication, we note that it doesn't have, it hasn't inferred a type of publication, so we'll have to select the one that applies to it. In this case, a book or a book chapter. We can click on the next one and select all the options that in this case apply. We can close the assistant anytime we want. We can finish the process or we can go back to the reference, to the previous reference, to the next reference or select if it doesn't have a reference. Now, when we have a specific uh, search in this case a thesis, we need to select as a source the title of the thesis. This guy, in this case, it's the following and we can go on more. Now for this case we need only to finish the tagging process and we can select or we can see that it has already inferred all the information being the name of the authors and the year of said reference now we see that it finds also the formatting of the reference that we have in this case it's in italics so we only need to verify that everything is accordingly to our our article uh, the Markalik system sometimes has troubles recognizing institutional authors so we only need to verify if that's the case. This is not the case, so it has been correctly identified. And as you can see, it already generates the hyperlinks for the URLs that are in this reference. We need only to select it and we are, we are uh, finishing with it as we can see in the reference in detail box it has already detected the type of publication and now if we want a more in-depth tagging of our references we can add the full name of the article volume number everything that we need on the upper left toolbar here we can select the article's title for example where we can select it in this case it's the following as you can see we can we need only to click and drag and it will select automatically what we need we then click again in the reference in detail journal and the mother box to name it in a way and then select the volume in this case 26 then click again and click on the number number one and the pages of said article the first page being number 91 the last page number 100 and the digital identifier of our publication in this reference it's a DOI we have to select the type of identification in this case a DOI identifier as you can see it already selects the beginning of our URL so we only need to select the numbered part now if we want to improve a type of in this case a book we can select the title of the chapter, the publisher, and the authors that are needed. In this case, we have editors 
so we can select the type of author in this case an editor select the name last name to add another one we only need to click on the author's box add another author and fill in the details that we need now we can also add the city of the publisher's house in this case New York and also the publisher's name again this is an optional requirement Redelix only need uh, the name of the authors the year and the source of each reference but if you want to go more in depth of uh, your reference you can do it lastly about the notes we need to add the Markalik system can add the notes by clicking on the toolbar in the section notes we only need to click it and put the identifier which is in this case the number one and the whole paragraph of said note we'll click on it and to add another one we only need to select the mother box in this case notes add the number of identifier and then just add the paragraph now when selecting the references and appendices tab we can only also put the acknowledgments that are made in the article and as we saw in the previous tutorial it has an acknowledgement of funding so we only need to select the whole paragraph about it and end with it we can always add appendixes glossaries and references another reference if our journal separates the books from the magazine from the journals from the web pages and so on and so on so we need to save now our progress and with it we can continue with the full text of the article